there. So today we have another review. This is a beer from Distill. I had their wonderful peach cobbler uh, wild series, wild sour series, which I guess is their kettle series, and I thought I'd pick this one up. This one is Alima Hua. This is their tropical ale, six percent kettle sour um, with pineapple, guava, mango, passion fruit. I'm oh, sorry, pineapple, coconut, mango, passion fruit, guava. Uh, I had to reshoot this because um, I'm an idiot. I tried to explain the pH scale to you guys, and then I got lost in like my ability to explain logarithmic scale. Scale, <laughs> smell. Uh, logarithmic scale. So then I like had to do a little bit of research, and then obviously I like, correct myself, and then. Um, Go back to you guys. So let's dig into the beer. So uh, beer, first off, pours in a really nice kind of light straw color. It really looks like a proper Berliner, Goza, blah, blah, bit beer. Like it doesn't look like one of those pastry sours, slushy sours, not thick, chunky. Like when I think of sours that have like passion fruit, guava, uh, pineapple, and stuff, you think of something that has a lot of puree added to it. This looks like just a regular beer. So obviously they've um, taken that approach where I, I liked it in the peach cobbler one. It was like a really tasty sour. And then you get the other tertiary or the other additional ingredients to be like tertiary flavors and really allow a sour beer to shine through like at least even like even kettle sour kettle sour can be very delicious uh, it doesn't always have to be covered up completely by big chunky uh, fruit flavors and uh, uh mouthfeel right on the nose mm. first note i get is that kind of really nice kind of like sometimes um coconut for me can be a little bit suntan lotiony sorry i don't know if i'm pushing the, the camera shaking a little bit um not quite here. It's got this really rich kind of like cream of coconut kind of thing. Um, thinking pina coladas and all that stuff. And then it's got all the big, ripe, juicy tropical fruits. It's like a little bit of tart mango, a uh, tart uh, guava. You get the sweet, tropical, ripe, passion fruit, pineapple, mangoes just driving. But again, not like too insanely not insanely dominant. It smells actually like the top layer is actually the big coconut note. And then, um, but yeah, it doesn't smell like slushy sour, so. Or like a thick chewy sour, and then obviously on the palate it follows. Um, the mouthfeel on this is just light and crisp. Um, even though it's a big six percent Berliner, like not really a tiny one at like three four percent. First thing I will say though, this is a sour beer. <laughs> For a kettle sour, it's about full acidity. I can't imagine many. Um, well, first off, sour beers in general, whether you use uh, a lot, uh, mix fermentation, um, the long way to make it, or the quick kettle sours. This is about about like pours the sour and like this is full sour like few beers really get much much more sour than this right so i would tend to guess that this beer is probably around 3.0 ph um setting a ph is not necessarily the best way to rate how much like acidity and how acidic a beer is but that's what you know is easier um so anyway to explain it so Three pH is pretty low, and the crazy thing is that actually um, pH just like the Richter scale, the logarithmic scale. So um, three to four pH is not actually just like it's not just one higher. Like you have to turn the dial ten times. So three to four is ten. Like like something that is four, three pH is ten times more sour than something that's four pH. Um, and then uh, five pH would be a hundred times. So water is a solid seven pH. So we're going six. Seven, sorry, six, five, four, three. This is ten thousand times possibly more sour than I'm gonna guess is ten thousand times more sour than water. All right, cool, right? If you go four, five, rhythmic, yeah, I think my math's right. Anyway, let's take it again. A very sour beer. Um, so it really allows the base beer show. Um, you really get a sense of like. Wow, this is a very acidic base. Um, it has a little bit of estuary tone to it. I think it's probably playing with the fruits, but I also get maybe a little bit of like tart pear, Asian pear, a little bit of like Granny Smith apple in here. Um, kettle sours generally are not just only dominated by uh, lactic acidity. When you um, add your lactic acid to the bacteria, you're going to produce other acids. Um, I believe it's like tartar tartaric and malic and possibly other acids are being produced in that fermentation and conversion of uh, base compounds into acid. Anyway, we'll move on to the beer. Up front, it's very peachy, actually. There's no peach in here. Uh, I assume that's a fleshy mango flavor. But the beer's so tart and sour that it doesn't really show ripeness, right? On the nose, you sort of get this like sweet coconut flavor and get a little big ripeness, but on the palate, it's smashingly sour. It really, again, fully goes into those more it sort of hides the fact that these specific ingredients are in here because you associate these ingredients, the the mango, passion fruit, pineapple specifically, and possibly the uh, guava and um, 
um, coconut to more sweeter and riper flavors. Here, the, it's just very sour, right? So you're getting like um, white donut peaches, Granny Smith, uh, uh, Granny Smith apple again, um, the cranberry sourness. It's just sour. <laughs> it's just very sour, yeah. I should wait more. Um, it's mostly peachy, like really peach, apricot, white peach sourness. And it plays into a little bit of that fleshy and a mango thing. I would think that the guava flavor would actually pop a little bit more because guava is actually quite sour. The guava is, I feel, a little bit hidden there. The pine, uh, the coconut really takes a back seat. So it's really like tart, mango, and pa uh, pineapple coming in. The passion fruit again, more ripe. It's just, there's so much acid in this beer and there's so much sourness, there's so much base beer showing. Uh, I, I think that they did a great job in like really allowing um, big aromatics out of like their, their their additional ingredients, but then allowing, again, let that base sour, like sour it up and get you all twisted and, you know, just get it all warheaded up. Like, you want to get, you want it sour? I'll make it sour, right? And then just let the fruits do the other thing. Well, um, quite tasty. I think this would be something that a lot of people would not like. They, again, we've like trained these, uh, a lot of like modern beer palettes or craft beer palettes to really push for, hey, I don't taste, it, like this doesn't taste like a, um, you know, big tropical, Tropicana, fruit punch, puree kind of thing, right? Like this doesn't come in like big, like orangey yellow color, right? Um, it doesn't have to always just taste like freaking fruit puree, right? It, it can taste like beer with all these other, you know, pretty other little elements just like on the nose. On the nose, you certainly smell it, but on the palate, it really shines with the base beer. And I bet it's cheaper for them to make too, right? Allowing the beer to show instead of having to add tons and tons of really expensive fruit puree. Um, I, I like it. It's very refreshing. 6% super uh, dangerous. For me, I would maybe argue for a little bit, like turn it up just a little bit, like turn it up just, um, turn up the fruit just a little hair more. I would really love it to have more of that kind of tropical cheater fruit kind of thing. Obviously, I can go both ways because I really loved the, the tropical smooge that I got like uh, a couple months ago. And the review for you guys that was absolutely tasty it's just such a cheater kind of like product like how could you not love like, like something that's just so fruity and pulpy and blah 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 and and, and jammy and just like like urgh, right but you can go the other way and um i think this hits a really nice spot for me i would i'll tone up the fruit just a little bit more but um as for ratings go with a solid eighty nine uh yeah eighty nine uh wild sour Alimahua. I'm just until next time, guys. Cheers later.